I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Uh, Breakfast at our pediatric appointment today for a weight checkup, actually. So I'm waiting for those numbers to come back. That's the most important stat. I know she's wearing the, the Mama Sita uh, hoodie. Is there any impact of mentality, that mama mentality that you take from Kobe when it comes to coming to improving your game or going out there and giving it your all? Be violent. Go get it. Don't let nothing stop you. And you know, got to fight for everything. Roddy, with, with everything you've been through in your career, um, even stepping away from the game for a while, what would it mean to you to make this roster? I mean, dealing with what I have gone through, just getting to this point is, you know, a huge, huge goal and accomplishment for me. You know, stepping away for what, two seasons and then coming back, being in, being at this part of camp, you know, having the two games that I've had, it's it's huge. I mean, I don't want to say not a lot of people can do it, but at the same time, not a lot of people are strong enough to stay the course to get to this point. So I mean. I'm just blessed to be here. I'm just really blessed to be here. What do you think it is about you that has made you strong enough to stay the course and pushed you to, to get here? My mom. I mean, she would have wanted the world for me. And just honoring her and, you know, fighting back. Being back in the NFL, her not being able to see me, you know, Play college football and you know play downs in the league and you know it's 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 all for her. So I mean now she has to you know share that spot with Brexley, but <laughs> well you know just staying strong you know. What do you remember about last summer about getting here? You know having a very small window and just just the whole process of trying to figure out whether you were going to stay and you know that that late August stretch from a year ago. Uh. Probably the hardest part was waiting in the hotel for like those three days because of COVID and then having to run those routes at the workout that I had to do. And then, you know, having sat out, I was in the fire, full pads, going against top-notch athletes in practice. It went, it wasn't easy. I can tell you that it wasn't easy. Like it was hard for me to just like, oh, I got to remember how to step this way, get five yards, how to shed this. It was hard. And, and I just had to, you know, stay the course, keep fighting, keep going. And, you know, I coach for them, you know, they stuck with me. They work with me every single day. And, you know, I'm, I'm blessed for them. I'm blessed for this organization for giving, uh, giving me the opportunity. And, you know, we, we're just going to keep fighting. What, what do you remember about the nerves at Cuts weekend? Uh, from last year? Yeah. I wasn't thinking about it, honestly. I mean, like I said, I, to be at that point, you know, having to fight back, I, I didn't, it didn't matter. It didn't matter to me. The three days that you were in the hotel, what'd you do? <laughs> Literally sat and watched HGTV. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, that's all I did. <laughs> what have the last few days been like for you? Obviously, the, the moment for you both Friday night and Saturday it got a lot of attention, not just in Chicago, it's national. What's it just been like to kind of see the, the outpouring of, of support and the excitement for you? Um, I told Madison that our daughter is more famous than the both of us. So it's been, it's been cool, you know, having the exposure, you know, and having Brexley have that exposure, having have Madison have that exposure. I mean, it's really cool just to see how much, you know, the city of Chicago, you know, the Bears organization, the Bears fans show love to a family that they barely even know. And it's it's amazing. You know, coming here every day, you know, the, the whole staff, the cooks, you know, how, how's everyone doing? How's the family doing? It is amazing. I love it. And you can't take it for granted. Because one day it's all gonna be over. So it's cool. Mentality towards special teams, and what does Coach Tepper kind of ask you to focus on in that area? Um, just compete. You know, I'm trying to find a spot where I can help in special teams. So I mean, he's he's you know, putting me in different spots and trying to see what I can do, and you know, just just competing every day.
Ronnie, as somebody who's been with three teams and, and seen a lot of what this league is like, what's your appreciation for what this final preseason game Saturday is for so many guys as their last chance to state a case on why they should be where they're at? I mean, for guys who who won't see that much playing time, it's it's important to just show what you can do, show your abilities. I mean, even even if it's like a small thing, like a hitch, you know, show how good you can run that hitch and get open. And you know, it's some some people they aren't going to make it. But, I mean, I say don't get down because there's there's 32 other teams, there's more leagues out there you can go to. But you know. Just keep fighting. If you keep fighting, something's going to work out. Is there an intensity and a stress to, to that, you know, trying to perfect the hitch? And <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> I mean, listen, if he's man-to-man, if he's man -man, beat that man. <laughs> beat him. You know, like a, a hitch. Beat him. It don't matter what it is. So, I mean, there's, I wouldn't say stress about it because if you stress, it's more pressure on you. Just go out and have fun. You make a bad play, it's a bad play. Forget about it. You know, everyone makes a bad play. Everyone drops the ball. Everyone uh, runs the wrong route. Who cares? Focus on that next play. Do you have a mentor, either on this team or in your life, that can get you to the next, ne you know, now that you're here, get you to the next step? A mentor, no. Life, yes. Um, I just learn off of everyone's mistakes. You know, social media is a big place. You know, everything is on social media. so. You know, you see who's doing what in the league, who's doing what outside of the league. You know, you just take from everywhere. You can use that in every aspect of your life, no matter who it is, no matter what it is. You can always learn because life is the best mentor to me, in my opinion. You can learn a lot from life just by observing everything. How, how do you filter out the BS on social media? There's a lot of that, too. Social media, I mean, it's not, today's social media is different. It's different. I mean, back then, I mean, you just post a few things, no one really cared. But now, <laughs> listen, <laughs> you post one thing, your life is over. <laughs> your life is over. So, I mean, we just got to be cautious, you know, and what you post, what you do. And, Someone does post their own thing. You're gonna know not to post what he what he just posted. So I mean, you know, you're just learning every single day. You know. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.